Hey guys, so uh, we're just going to be switching out this uh, light fixture because this uh, new light fixture kind of looks like the rest of the ones in the house. I think it's just a cheaper version but same style and you probably wouldn't know it notice the difference uh, at a glance, so that's what we're going to be doing. Um, this is the old one, it only has one light in it, and we're going to this guy. That's what it's going to look like. Um, and this one has two lights in it, which makes the room a lot brighter, especially when it's cloudy or at night. And it just, it, it's, a lot, it's a lot more light and it looks a little better. Uh, we just changed out the one in the other bedroom over there. Uh, we found it way better for light for one and uh, it looks like the rest of the house so that's a bonus. So these clips, these little things here uh, look almost the same. My wife's going to open the package right now and uh, we're going to get to changing it. The biggest thing is that it looks like the rest of the house in the other bedrooms upstairs and it has two lights so it, it makes a lot nicer for uh, lighting here. I know it's daytime and the light's coming in from outside, but yeah, it, it definitely makes it better. So that's the that's the old one. I'm gonna probably start taking this down. And uh, power's already off. We uh, just hit the power for the breaker, so we don't have to worry about that. My wife will probably take the camera here in a second, and we can try and power through this a bit. Take the, the camera here. This comes with everything we need. Uh, just we might end up using some of the existing stuff up there. Like this piece, it's already up there. Might as well just use it. Um, some of these uh, wire nuts already up there. Probably just use those too. But I'll put them in my pocket just in case. Sometimes you can turn these by hand. Cut off. That's my wife. And we're going to take the light bulb out in a second here. Oh, just need a screwdriver bit. Try the candle when it hang by the wires, um, but so we're just gonna take the ground out now. And screw it in up here. The new ground and the other one doesn't have this type of clip on it. I don't know why, but that's all right. We can just break it into a, one of those wire marionettes, and it should be good to go. So, I don't know if you guys can see that. So that's out. Like I said, the power is off. You always want to make sure your breaker and your power is off before you start uh, touching or messing with electrical. And if you don't feel comfortable, guys, after looking at YouTube videos on how to do it, if you still don't feel comfortable and whatnot, just hire, hire an electrician. Always be safe and sorry. And I always like to keep these separated, and, and I prefer to do one at a time, but in this case, we can't really, just because we have to get this disconnected. But always keep these separated so that, uh, I know the power's off, but it's just, it's a safety thing, right? Like, just in case anything were to happen, somebody comes in and turns it on, you don't touch both of them and get zapped. Just something to be, uh, make yourself aware of. Just move those out of the way for a quick second. I know on the last one I had to bring this one down, so I might as well just adjust this piece. Bring it down a little bit. Just a little screw. Should be able to 
So let's get them connected and then if I have to I'll just drop one of these sides and we'll move the wires appropriately uh, and, and I think that would be the easiest way. So what I did last time and it seemed to work out just fine. Okay, so we're going to start with the black. It's right here. Can twist the wire up on, on the existing wires. Oh, we're gonna have to use the bigger one, I think. So we we'll use the other one I was here before. It's bigger. Should accommodate all these wires better. Alright, so that's on. Give it a little pull. It's on good. Okay, so now we've got everything. Now we're gonna see a little getting these wires up in here and being all tight and whatnot. Somewhat organized about it, but 
essentially you got to get all these wires up in there and make them fit, so I'll just push them up in and make sure they're good. Alright, should be fairly good. Now we've got this uh, ceiling here. That So we gotta knock down a little bit of stuff over keep just this corner here. Should be good. Just gotta knock some of that off. My wife brought the flat screwdriver. Grab another light bulb, guys, and we'll be
There we go. So much better. As you can see, there's a light here that you can see, and a light over here. Both lights are on, and it looks good. So uh, that's this room done. We're going to uh, obviously do the floor and stuff, but we just want to change that light out, make it a little brighter, make it uh, look like the rest of the house, and uh, I think we uh, achieved that. So uh, thanks guys for watching. If you like this kind of stuff, feel free to subscribe, like, and share. And uh, you know, pass it on to other people. Leave comments down below. Tell me what what type of lights you put in, and uh, any renovations that you've done. Much like to hear about your processes and uh, some things you guys have done. So thanks for watching, guys, and don't forget, never stop learning.